You're rolling? Okay. Well, Jack, you have done it again with another dynamite picture, dynamite well, thank performance. You. Thank you, Mike. You know, I, I, you're one man. I always say this too. Yeah. Keep the tuxedo pressed and ready to go <laughs> <laughs> every well, year we'll when, <laughs> when the Oscars come around. <laughs> but uh, it, it really is such an extraordinary picture. I wonder, Jack, now that you've had a chance to meet the the person you portray, Ed Horman, mm. is there anything that you would do differently about the portrayal now that you know him? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, I mean, assuming, and thank God that it works, uh, it was better that I didn't know him, really, and, and, and get inhibited by that or pushed in a certain direction. Because if you're portraying someone uh, who may be alive but is not a known personality where people have an impression, you know, like uh, Eisenhower or MacArthur or something, there's certain things you would have to do, you know, vocally and everything else because people know him. But in the case of Ed, uh, and of course he's known, but I mean not by the general public. So therefore I think it's, it's better to just go ahead and create the character exactly as you would with the director uh, if, he, if he was fictional, rather than be inhibited at all. You know? Do you think that there is any justification at all for what the State Department did or did not do regarding this case? Sure, yeah, because they, <laughs> that's the only thing they can do is to deny it. You know, they have to deny it. I don't, don't think they had to do it publicly. I think that I'm delighted that they did, frankly. It just brings more attention to it and proves to me that the picture is terribly powerful and successful, or it, they wouldn't have bothered. You know? There would be no controversy uh, if, if, the, if it wasn't a good film and a, and a strong one. When the book came out that the film is based on, it was not a bestseller because it wasn't the kind of book that goes out and becomes a bestseller, good as it is. Uh, and the State Department didn't say boo. But when the film was done, and as soon as it got the reviews began coming in, and they were raves, thank heaven, and uh, the theaters were all sold out, and busting records everywhere, and bang, you know, out they come with the statement saying, no, sir, no, no, it's not all true. We did not do those things. Whether they did or didn't, uh, they are saying that they didn't. And that's, that's the only thing they can say. Jack, did you anticipate all this controversy when you went into the? No, film? I didn't know it would be this. There, there would be this much, and I think it's purely because the State Department did take that action. It's the only time in history that they've ever come out against a film, and uh, that's rather unprecedented. And uh, I think that that's sort of it got it off the entertainment pages and onto the front pages, you know, as a very controversial thing. It, it really isn't all that controversial. It's just the story of something that actually did happen to one family. And it's a highly dramatic story, and that's what the film is really about. Secondarily, it does entail the involvement of the State Department in the Chilean coup, which we were involved in, although they won't say that. Uh, but we know that now. But they still have to take the stand that they weren't. You've never been a terribly political person, no. have you, Jack? No. Uh, but many actors are, and right mm. now you're faced with a thing in the sc Screen Actors Guild yeah. where Ed Asner yes. is, uh, some people are taking him to task, and there is yeah. a movement, in fact, to oust yeah. him, isn't there? I guess so, yeah. How do you feel about it? The, uh, you know the truth? I really don't have an opinion yet. I've been running around so much, I haven't really caught up with it. I haven't been reading the trade papers, which in this case would really have everything about it every day. I haven't even seen a trade paper or spoken to anybody for weeks. So I don't really am not well enough versed to give an opinion. You know, I do feel that if an individual actor feels strongly enough about something and feels that he is, has the political acumen above and beyond the normal person because he's devoted more time to that particular thing and that he has the right to try to influence people, okay, if he feels that. I don't, you see, but that doesn't mean that Ed shouldn't or that Chuck Heston shouldn't or anybody else that feels strongly about something shouldn't exercise their rights uh, as an American citizen to be able to get up and shoot their mouth off. That's the glory of this country. The only problem is that they are in a position of more influence than the average person. So I think you've got to be very careful of how you use it. 
And in fact, Jack, uh, let's say Ed Asner is for something that you're totally opposed to, and because mm -hmm. he's head of the Screen Actors Guild, uh, he does speak for all of you actors in a sense. In many ways. In yeah. many ways. So uh, would you take issue with him? If, if I felt strongly enough about it, yeah. And maybe I will when I get all the facts. I might, you never know, or I might totally agree with him. I personally am very fond of Ed. Uh, I, boy, we first worked together in a Broadway flop in 1960 called Face of a Hero. The first review started out, Trace of a Zero. Oh, <laughs> never forget that. <laughs> but Ed was the best thing in the whole damn show. I wish I had, but anyhow, and, and, I, and I'm very fond of him personally, you know, but as I said, I've got to get more facts before I really say anything about this one. Jack, I have to take this opportunity also to pick your brain a little bit about the Oscars. Does it yeah. appear to you that Reds is going to get Best Picture? I really don't know, love. I wouldn't be the slightest bit surprised. I, I, th I think it's probably a front runner. Again, I've been kind of out of contact with everybody. I don't know the general gossip you might feel or hear, uh, uh, you know, in, in Los Angeles. Uh, I'll, I'll know more in a few days when I get back there, but uh, I would think probably that. I think that, that Henry Fonda will probably, be, probably is the front runner to get uh, Best Actor. And what about Best Actress? Now you got me. Well, it, it, it appears to me that it probably mm. would be between Hepburn and Keaton mm. and um, yeah. Meryl Streep. And Meryl Streep. So yes. what would you think of those three? I don't know. I really don't know. You can't it's tell. Awful. You know, see, I, I go through this thing. And some years I'm nominated and some not. But whether I'm nominated or not, I go through hell, if you'll pardon me, trying to make those decisions. The nominations are easy. As, as a member of the Academy, I vote. So I can find the five best performances and the five best pictures, in my opinion, that I've seen during the year. But now, once they're nominated, to pick one performance out of five different performances, I find terribly difficult. You know, if everybody played the same part, then I can tell you which one I thought was best. But with five different parts, and you don't know how much the director contributed, where the director left off and the actor took off, or vice versa. And so often, the best acting is just the simplest. But you don't know how difficult it was to arrive at such simplicity. It's hard. It's, it's, it's an awfully tough decision to make. Really Jack, is. don't you find also that um, emotion does enter into it oh, a little sure. bit? It's bound to. To some extent. Who knows how much, but I'm sure it, uh, that at times it has. An actor or an actress who has had many good roles, and you say, mm. by golly, it's time we sure. did something. Sure, yeah. I think that does. It's bound to. It, it's, it's human, and uh, it's bound to enter into it. And by yeah. the same token, could there be people that the Academy would be just down on for one reason or another? Well, it could, but you know, I, one of the proudest things, I, I'm a member of the Board of Governors of the Academy. One of the proudest moments in the history of the Academy Awards to me was a few years ago when a very dear friend of mine and someone that I could not possibly respect more as a person and as an actor, George C. Scott. Now, George is against the awards. I respect that opinion. He feels that it's competitive. Marlon feels that way, and I respect it. I happen to be for them for various reasons, and they respect my opinion. But when George C., after he was nominated for Patton, announced that he not only hated the awards, but he would refuse to accept the award if he received it. The Academy still voted him the award because they really felt it was the best performance, even though they knew what they were doing. I thought that was the greatest thing in the world, that they did that, because it is supposed to be just for the best performance, in your opinion, of the year. And uh, I thought it was just sensational that, that, that he received it anyway. Yeah. Well, Jack, come next year. You're, you, you didn't make the cut this time. <laughs> <laughs> I had nothing to do it with. <laughs> but come next year, you're going. I predict. Well, I predict that you're going to be up there for missing, and well, I'll be you. very, very happy to see it. That's very As sweet always, of you. lovely to see you, thank Jack. You. Take Good care. Good to see you again. That's very sweet of you, dear. Oh, fantastic! Now, however we, you want, uh, you're rolling. Okay. I'll give you some reactions first. Is this a good fix? Ask him if this Actually, is. Actually, a little bit more to your right. About here? Yeah, right about there. Okay.
questions? Jack, if you had been permitted to spend time with Ed before you started the movie, would you have done it differently? Now that you have met the real Ed, is there anything you'd like to change about your performance? Do you see any justification at all for what the State Department did or did not do regarding this case? Jack, you have never been a political person, have you? You have a situation now where Ed Asner is president of the Screen Actors Guild, and he's making a lot of political statements. How do you feel about that? But Ed Asner does represent actors as a whole. Now, if he were to take a stand on something you totally disagreed with, would you speak up? Jack, I have to take this opportunity to ask you about the Oscars. Do you think at this point Reds looks like it will win Best Picture? What about Best Actor? It appears to me. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I need some juice, too. Um, it's catching. Okay. It appears to me that Best Actress could be between Hepburn and Streep and Keaton. What do you think? Don't you think emotion enters into a lot of the Academy voting? Do you think that the Academy ever gets down on certain people? Okay, should do it. Thank you.